Hey friends, so we're gonna draw a groundhog. Yeah, with a top hat. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers, but you can use a pencil or whatever you have at home. We're in the classroom. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. Because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper. This helps the markers last longer. Okay, first let's draw our groundhog's nose in the middle of our paper, but towards the top. So I'm gonna draw a little U shape like this. And then we're gonna draw a curve to connect the top. It looks like an upside down triangle. And then we can color in that shape. And then we're gonna draw the mouth and we're gonna draw a little U shape that comes out to the left and also a U shape that comes out to the right. And let's also give our little groundhog teeth, kind of makes them look like a beaver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw a little line right down the middle. And now let's draw eyes. We're gonna draw a circle over here on the left and the same size circle on the right. And you could draw the eyes bigger, you could draw them smaller. You could also draw them like upside down U shapes to make your groundhog look super happy. <laughs> oh, and also I think I'm gonna add little cheek lines too. <laughs> then let's draw a smaller circle or oval inside in the top left of each eye. This makes the eyes look shiny. And then let's color in the big circle but leave that little circle white. That part we sped up, so remember you can always pause the video for extra time. And we've also drawn a groundhog before, a long time ago, but it didn't have a top hat, so I thought it would be fun to do this again. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the little top of our groundhog's head, and I'm gonna draw a little zigzag line like this. So it's got a little bit of fur on the top. Yes, and then we're gonna draw a curve that comes out like this, and then we're gonna come down, and I'm gonna stop here, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Draw curving around, and then down. <laughs> and then let's draw the little top hat. So I'm gonna draw two little short lines coming out on each side. This makes our little groundhog noble. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna draw a line that connects to the little fur in the middle. And I'm gonna imagine that going through, overlapping behind, and then coming out over here to connect. Yeah, and then let's draw the top of the top hat. We're gonna draw two lines. I'm gonna draw them coming out a little diagonal. See how they get further away at the top? Yeah. Yeah. And then let's, I'm gonna turn my paper sideways. Sometimes that makes it easier to draw a line, but connect the top two lines. And then, <laughs> and then we're gonna draw a line right here for a little decoration on the hat. But our groundhog is missing the ears. So let's draw an upside down U shape where it almost looks like a circle, part of a circle. And then I'm gonna draw that same size ear over here for the other side. And then let's draw that same shape but smaller inside each ear. Next, let's draw our little groundhog's hands sticking out over the dirt. So I'm gonna draw a little U here and a little U over here on this side. And then we could draw two little paw lines on each foot or hand. <laughs> and then we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw the dirt that our little groundhog is coming out of. So I'm gonna draw a bumpy line coming out to the left side and also a bumpy line coming out to the right side. Then let's draw a bumpy line in between the two paws and then we're gonna draw the bottom of the dirt. I'm gonna draw it kinda coming around like this. And some of the little bumps I'm drawing big and some of them are small. I'm trying to mix it up to make it look more natural. Let's also add small little rocks in the dirt. I'm gonna draw 
Maybe two over here, one that's a little smaller than the other. We can add some rocks here. And you can really put these anywhere. You don't have to put them exactly where I drew them. Then let's also draw the ground coming out to the left. And so our little groundhog's coming out of a hill. And I'm gonna draw that same little curve on the other side. If your groundhog has a top hat, you have to also draw... A bow tie. A bow tie, <laughs> yes. Let's draw an X right below our groundhog's teeth. And I drew it kind of squished too. And then we're gonna draw a line connecting the left side and also connecting the right side. And then let's color in that bow tie. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our groundhog. It looks perfect, except we're not completely done. We still need to color him. Yes, my favorite part. Let's pick out the colors and we'll come right back. We're using our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers. If you have the same set, you can use the exact same colors as us. And we picked out a bunch of colors and we'll go through these one at a time as we're coloring. But that's okay if you don't have the same set, you can use any brand of alcohol-based markers or you could even use colored pencils, oil pastels or crayons instead of markers. The first color we're going to use is 103. This is for groundhog and this is a brown color. Let's color in solid the entire groundhog and even the ears. Okay. That part we sped up, so remember to pause the video again if you need more time. Now we're switching to our 94 brown. This is a darker brown. We're gonna color in the small shape inside of each ear. And we can also use this darker brown to add little shadows if you want. I'm gonna add a shadow close to the body or the head on the ear. And then also you could use this to add a shadow at the very bottom of the paws and also the part of the body that goes into the ground. And I'm gonna do it around this paw. And also you could add a little shadow underneath the tie, the bow tie too. It's looking awesome, Hadley, keep going. <laughs> now let's switch to our black marker and we'll color in the top hat. Then to finish the hat, let's switch to our 33 yellow to color in the little band going around the bottom of the hat. Next we're using 100, this is a lighter brown, to color in the dirt. Then also I'm using WG1 for the little rocks inside of the dirt. And lastly, I'm using 46 green to color in the bottom or the grass underneath the dirt. And we also have a white Prismacolor colored pencil that we can use to make the highlights in the eyes a little bit bigger. I even accidentally colored brown inside this highlight so the white can go back over it and make it white again. And then also on the tooth. You can even add a little highlight to the nose, maybe even some highlights to the bow tie, and also a highlight to the top of the top hat. Hadley, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our groundhogs and they look awesome, especially with their top hats and bow ties. Yeah. <laughs> you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. You can even add more things to your drawing. Yeah, like the sun or clouds. Yeah, if you drew a sun, then maybe the groundhog sees its shadow, or if there's clouds, it doesn't see a shadow. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a groundhog. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. I hope they do. I hope they take extra time to add more things. Yeah. The most important thing is? To have fun. And to? Practice. Practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.